Today I am going to hack my Wi-Fi. All I need is Kali Linux and a Wi-Fi adapter that enables monitor mode. If you wonder how to install Kali Linux, I have made a video on that. I am using a Kali Live Boot since this laptop is my sister's. So let's start to begin with booting Kali Linux. What I am sharing here is for only educational purpose. Attack the network you own or have permission to attack. IW config in the terminal and that shows a Wi-Fi network adapter. At present, the mode is managed. I need to change that to a monitor mode. But the first thing I want to do is to check for any conflicting process and kill them. If you're interested in studying more about this, I made a blog on my website. Using the command sudo yarmong ng start lan1, I can change my adapter into monitor mode. IWconfig shows that my Wi-Fi adapter turns into a monitor mode. Now I need to discover the access point. To do that, I use a command sudo addump-ng LAN interface. Now I discovered all wireless networks. Here is my BSS ID and channel number of the access point that I should make note of it. Yarodrump is a command that shows device connected to the network. You can see my device is connected to that network. I open another terminal. I use yarplay command to deauthenticate clients from the network. Now I try to connect back to the network so that I can capture the 4-way handshake. Map handshake was captured here. I'm gonna search for the handshake file. The client is sending authentication information to the access point and I'm capturing the file to decrypt the password. So here we can see four messages and that is what I needed. Put back the Wi-Fi adapter to manage mode so that I can access the internet through the adapter. To crack the password, I use the default world list in Kali Linux, rocku.net. Rocku is a password list containing millions of passwords that are actually listed from a user database. Here's the fun part to crack the password. I'm gonna use the command yakrack to crack the password. This command that cracks the password. This may take some time. The password I was used here is subscribe. So next time I should try to use a long password with a mix of characters and that makes impossible to crack. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.